Hello again, everyone. So, this is a part two of the same day. I'm going to go ahead and whenever I get back to the warehouse, I'm going to post both, the, both of them. But this is a little bit better picture of the awning that I bought. It's about I don't know, eight feet, eight and a half feet wide, um, 18 feet long. All aluminum, has the metal braces, everything going to it. Like I said, for 200 bucks, it has the points right there where you bolt, bolt it all up. But for 200 bucks, it's kind of one of them things, you know. I mean, yes, I could pass it up, but I am looking for space where it's not getting rained on. And uh, this serves a purpose for 200 bucks. There's no way I could buy anything even close to this size for 200 hell you can't even buy a shed for 200 dollars but anyways i got this now um i'm debating on whether i want to use it at my house use it at the shop there's like four different locations because i was thinking about mounting it on the back of my um, house right here it'll bolt right up and it gives me pretty much almost the entire porch right there and it's a temporary shelter until I get the concrete done and do everything else so you know it gives me an opportunity to take the stuff that's in my house and have a, a place out back that I can process go through and get the house done you know and that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now um, if I use it at the shop same thing you know so I, I got a couple of other options and this is a literal plug-and-play once you put them post in as long as there's not a breeze, it's pretty much freestanding. So it, it'll balance itself, you know, up in the air. So, um, something else. You know, sometimes I do things that I don't want to do, but sometimes I do them to help out others. So, um, I think tomorrow I might put him in the video or put his booth in the video. So hopefully if you're ever going out to Pecan Park, you can, uh, I'm going to turn this around. So just be prepared in three, one, bam. Hi. So I am so dirty today. My God. So sometimes I just do things to help people out. Now, I will not give money to a bum. Okay. I, I can't stand people who don't try, especially when everybody and their freaking cousin is trying to find a job. But uh, there's a guy, Brian, I think his name is. He has a booth out there and he is a hustler i mean he he grinds so hard trying to do it but he doesn't do it he's not a flea market person he's you know he's uh just thinking everything should happen and uh there's a lot of people that sit out there and really don't sell so uh, i decided to help him out and he he needed some money i said how much you need you know he's like about a hundred you know 100 bucks 200 bucks is there anything here you want? I was just, not really. I was like, you know, I'm trying to sell the same shit you're trying to sell. So he said, well, um, you know, you like the clothes and everything. I was like, yeah, I, I, you know, something I try to do and doing okay at it. Not great, but okay. So uh, I said, all right, here's the deal. We'll flip a coin, all your clothes, one shot, one deal to help you out. 100 bucks, heads or 150 tails. He's like, let's do it, man. I just need money. I don't care. So, flipped the coin. 150 bucks I paid him. And I'm going to make... I mean, it's not about, you know, how I can donate it. I don't really care that much about it. But, you know, helping him out. And I kind of wanted to make him work for it. Not in a bad way or anything like that. But I just don't like giving... Just straight up giving money to people who don't deserve it. So, turning you around again. But, yeah... You know, bunch of clothes. So, but it helps him out. Uh, he was actually in a point to where he was, you know, trying to make rent out there. And he really needed the money. So, I was like, you know what, I'll do it. I didn't tell him that. I don't, you know, I, I let people kind of use their own brain however they want. Let them assume whatever they want. But I already planned on giving him some money. I just don't like giving money away. I'll buy stuff from people and... You know, but it's, it's a bunch of Walmart clothes, stuff like that, but it is what it is. So my $300 I made today after everything was said and done, I lost about 50 bucks, but 
I got a, a really good awning. Got some more stuff to sell, which I am tonight. I got to load up uh, my unload the clothes at the shop. I got to load up some tools, which I already got sold. So I'll probably have 150, 200 bucks as soon as I walk in the door in the morning. And then, um, yeah, I got to, um, anyway, my brain just shut down. I apologize. I'm a little tired. So I'm going to go to my mom's house, pick up some totes um get a couple things taken care of go find, i'm probably gonna get me a a nice um, cheeseburger from wawa if you haven't been there wawa is not a bad place it's not a good place don't get me wrong it's, it's not a good place but you know if we're going there and getting you know getting a hamburger some fries and you know a couple little juice things for like seven bucks it is worth it so Plus, sometimes with all the hookers and the drug dealers and the and the homeless and the just general what the fuckingness that goes on up there, uh, sometimes it's dinner and a show. So you know. Oh, also speaking of just degenerate pieces of crap in the world, um, we all of a sudden in the past three days, now we are having people passed out drunk on the sidewalk in front of Monroe's I mean completely like when I walked up if there was flies around I would have thought he was dead I mean just and I went in I was like hey you got a dead person outside oh yeah he's looking for a job I was like what but yeah he, he's interviewed for a job like three weeks ago and he comes over and we give him food and he goes out there crashes I was like what the, what the hell kind of business are y'all running I mean, this is Monroe's Barbecue on Beach Boulevard, you know, and they're just letting people get pass out drunk or drugs or what. I mean, the dude was gone. He was not moving at all, you know, and I don't know if I want to do, I don't know if I want to go up there and eat. If that's the way, if, oh yeah, it's fine. Let's just have people passed out in front of our damn restaurant. And I don't want to throw shade at Monroe's. I mean, the, the girls that work there are wonderful and. You know, Keith could really pay a little bit more attention to his business, but that's my personal opinion. He does what he does. He's living his life, and I'm, you know, he probably has a hell of a lot more money than I do, so I ain't going to say anything negative, but, I mean, what the hell is going on? That it's, oh, it's fine, you know, that we have a homeless, I mean, maybe in L.A. or San Francisco, where they, you know, it's legal to shit on the damn sidewalk and, you know, Oh, who cares if there's, you know, 15 needles on the way home with me and my kid? You know, I mean, but not here. Guys, girls, get your damn heads right. This is not the way we're supposed to be living. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't have an overall problem with homeless people, but I do. If you can make sense of that, you understand me. But this is just, all I got to say is fuck the new normal. Excuse my language, but I'm done with this new normal. And that's partly one of the reasons why I'm trying to sell out and just cash out a lot of my stuff that I don't need. And, you know, but unless we as a people, all of us, left, right, center, black, white, whoever gives a fuck, whatever race you are, sexuality, we all need to get together and have some common decency. Because this is just, this is not the way it's supposed to be. Anyways, yeah, boy, that just, I've always had an issue with homeless people. In fact, uh, I'm not going to do it right now because i got to get going before it gets dark, but on one of the videos, I promise to tell you the one time, the one and only time I've ever given money to a homeless person. And uh, a couple of my family, like uh, I know Dylan, he knows about the story because I tried to show it, show, you know, something as a motivational thing for him. I don't think he paid any attention, but, you know, there's always a way to make money. And if I'm giving a guy homeless money... <laughs> If I'm giving a homeless guy money, that came out wrong, but, you know, he had to do do something different than every other, and he did, and I gave him money, so, but I'll, uh, I'll touch on that. I'm gonna, uh, 
yeah, I'm gonna go finish up tonight and hopefully be done before midnight. So, piece of money, I'm out. I will see y'all tomorrow for another flea market day. And remember, if you're out, uh, if you're bored or doing anything, you don't even have to come see me or anything. Just go to a flea market. Just get out of the house. Enjoy the vitamin D provided by the sun. Enjoy the H2O provided by the clouds. You know, and, and enjoy the, I guess just the O, the oxygen provided by the wind. And just go out and live life. Do something you haven't done before. Don't give money to homeless. They need to go away. <laughs> Anyways, y'all have a wonderful weekend. I'll see y'all later. Peace, love, money. I'm out.